here uh, I'm actually numbing up the skin. Um, the one of the uh, innovative type treatments that we do here at Caring Medical is called stem cell prolotherapy. Stem cells or progenitor cells can come from the fat. Here I am anesthetizing somebody's subcutaneous fat around their hip joint or pelvis. And what you're trying to do with lipoaspiration is to break up the fat uh, and make it into a liquid form so the adipose cells you can then aspirate them so where I'm taking the uh, probe there uh, and putting suction on it and now you'll see that the uh, fat or the adipose cells will then go into the syringe and that's what you're going to use as far as the prolotherapy solution goes there's various different kinds of stem cell type prolotherapy. You can get uh, progenitor cells or stem cells from the blood or the bone marrow or uh, the fat cells. Sometimes we'll combine the lipoaspirate, which you just saw me getting some lipoaspirate from the person's hip, and combine it with solution from somebody's bone marrow. There's various types of progenitor cells or stem cells that you can get from the bone marrow. The easiest place to get the uh, progenitor cells or uh, stem cells is from the bone marrow in the tibia because the tibia is so superficial. Here I'm numbing up the uh, knees. Uh, we put some Novocaine solution into the joint before we inject the stem cell prolotherapy. Here I'm using the easy IO drill and I'm drilling into the bone marrow into the person's right tibia. You can see here I take out the stylet and then I'm going to now aspirate out the bone marrow. And you'll see that the bone marrow comes out. Uh, it, it's coming out fine here. Depending on how many joints will determine how much bone marrow aspirate you need for the uh, prolotherapy solution. Because we're going to combine it with the lipoaspirate, we won't need that much bone marrow solution. Because a knee joint or a hip joint, it can only handle so much solution. Most joints can't handle more than 10 cc's of solution. And here you can see the bone marrow's coming out fine. The person was anesthetized well because they weren't moving. This person uh, is in under conscious sedation. They just got the numbing in the knee joint. And there you saw me inject the whole 10 cc's of the lipoaspirate bone marrow solution into the left knee joint. Uh, here we're doing a prolotherapy along the left uh, knee here. We typically, stem cell type prolotherapy treatments are done when somebody has significant osteoarthritis or osteochondral defects in the joint. So if somebody has like bone on bone arthritis or they have significant defects in the joint itself like in the cartilage. For instance, they're missing a piece of cartilage or there's extensive joint degeneration in the joint, that's where you might do one of the stem cell type prolotherapy treatments like the lipoaspirate or the bone marrow prolotherapy treatment. As you can see, prolotherapy is done comprehensive. Hemel Hackett prolotherapy is done along with the uh, bone marrow lipoaspirate prolotherapy. We're doing the bone marrow lipoaspirate combination here inside the person's knee. So intraarticular, we're using the progenitor cells, stem cells inside the knee and outside the knee. You're doing comprehensive prolotherapy to the ligaments, tendons outside the knee to stabilize the knee. I personally feel that this gives uh, better results because you're stabilizing the knee with the comprehensive Hemel Hackett prolotherapy and then you're doing uh, what's needed inside the knee to uh, stimulate regeneration at a high level with the uh, bone marrow lipoaspirate solution. So the comprehensive approach doing both 
uh, it seems to get people better quicker and most of the clients they that's what they basically want what can I do to give the minimum amount of visits